it's my uh, great pleasure to introduce my friend Sri H. R. Sinath Rao for today's session on orchids. Uh, Sri Sinath Rao is an electrical engineering graduate with postgraduate qualification from Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. His entire career of nearly four decades was in lighting industry. He was associated with almost all the leading lighting companies of the country as an employee, consultant, supplier, or as a, a customer of Philips, GE, Osram, Crompton, Bajaj, etc. He was instrumental in indigenizing quite a number of chemicals and components for the Indian lighting industry. He successfully ran small-scale unit manufacturing CFLs, first to produce in the country. Fluorescent powder, only one in the world to manufacture in small-scale sector. One of his units were the topmost factory to produce uh, lighting control and starting gears in the country. Usually, it is difficult for a successful industrialist to retire, but he took the decision to retire in 2012. Uh, since he wanted to be active in his retired life, he shifted his passion to terrace gardening and he used to grow nearly 12 kgs of veggies per day on his roof. About three years back, to reduce his physical work because of his age of growing veggies, he switched over to orchids. He has a huge collection of them, more than 4,000, I know, and regularly wins prizes in uh, orchid exhibitions. In fact, his collection will be one of the top in the uh, exhibition. He has gathered immense knowledge of orchids and has amalgamated his industrial and gardening experience into orchids and innovated very novel ways of not only growing but flourishing them. People say habit is second nature, nature but for HRS, nature is habit. And I am fortunate enough to meet him a year back. He has helped me to recover some of my sick plants. He also gave me lots of tips how to grow orchids and sustain their growth. What he impressed me most and also to me that orchid is cheaper than a hybrid rose or even uh, hybrid hibiscus. Uh, one more thing I have to tell that usually orchid growers are uh, very secretive about their collection or where they purchase uh, plants etc. Uh, but Mr. Rao is exception to that. And in the following weeks, he will introduce us to orchid history, different varieties, uh, growing culture, light, temperature, air, humidity, water, nutrients, pesticides, insecticides, fungicide, containers, media, etc. He will also suggest as to which orchids are to be grown in Bangalore, their level of growing difficulties as well, which one should not do. Hope you will enjoy his interaction for orchiding as much as HRS enjoys when he takes us through the journey. Happy orchiding. By the way, there are more than 1.20 lakhs of hybrid orchids and around 30,000 species of orchids in the world. Thank you. Over to uh, Mr. Tinatra. So we, your uh, video is, uh, your audio is muted. Could you please turn on your audio? Good evening, everybody. Good can evening. you hear me? Yes. yes, sir. Good evening, sir. We can hear you. Yeah, this is Srinath from Architecture. Um, hope all of you understand my English. It's not great, but I'll try to convey my best whatever I can. Okay. So you can um, speak Kannada, Hindi, English, whatever uh, you are comfortable with. Oh, great, <laughs> great, great, great. It will go back so that you know people can see uh, your... Huh, you can go yeah. a little go back. Yeah, that, that, that's better. That's better. Is it okay? Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. I do hope all of you are doing well and taking good care of yourself, your family, your pets and plants. And please stay safe. Okay. First, let me thank Vinay, Sonia and Dakshita for their efforts for bringing me in front of you people. I really don't know to what extent I will do justification in you learning and growing and making them flourish orchids but I will do my best that much I can promise you hope you will enjoy our sessions for may next couple of weeks maybe uh, let's go a little slowly and also with a little more interaction because I find that many a times 
uh, whenever uh, a person speaks a lot uh, and we listen and in next 24 hours most of it gets forgotten so let's try to make it as uh, informative as possible as with as much interaction as possible with each other okay okay now uh, uh, akshata i was supposed to get me the slides presentation can we yes, get the sir. slides just please? yeah just give me a second sir. i am in the meeting just give me me one second, sir. I'm getting to the same screen yeah, right no now. Yeah. Um, yeah, by the time she gets, I'll continue to talk. So, I suppose you people will be able to see. See, orchids has... Yes, sir. Now room. we are on your... Can you, can you hear me? All of yes, you, can sir. you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. We can orchids. hear you. And the presentation is also, I think everybody should be able to see now. Okay. I am not able to see. It doesn't matter. Oh, you're can not you, able can to I see? also see? No, I'm not able. You have to click on the presentation. Are, are you using Spotlight uh, layout? Requesting everyone to please switch on to the Spotlight uh, layout. You need to click on the bottom right corner of your screen. There are three dots. If you click on those three dots, you will see change layout. Please click on that and use Spotlight. Each participant has to be on the spotlight mode to see the full screen. If you use spotlight mode, anybody who is speaking will automatically will come onto the screen. And you should be able to see the presentation also. Are we good? Uh, Satya Vignesh, sir. Satya Vignesh, sir, can you please stop presenting? Can you? Someone else is presenting. Uh, someone else started presenting. Akshita, you can start presenting again. He, he has switched it off. Yeah. Okay. Please One do second. not I click on present now. All participants, there's a request. Please don't click it on present now. Let Akshita present it. And uh, Srinivas Rao, sir, present it. Thank you very much. Sonia, how do I go for spotlight? Okay. Uh, sir, there are three, uh, three uh, dots. So on you just screen. observe mine, sir. Now you see the three three dots, dots, sir. Akshita, he is not able to see you. Akshita, yeah. he is not three dots are not there. You uh, have to the screen. Okay, you see me, right, sir? Now I will hit yeah, the spotlight. No. And then, I am able then to see I... Akshita. Okay, sir. Now that I am presenting, I will just switch over to the presentation. Here Akshita, we go. Can you show how to use uh, spotlight mode, please? Because your screen is presenting, nobody is able to figure it out how to use presentation mode. One second, yeah. one second. The problem is I need to stop presenting and again restart. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Oh, uh, Zora is saying this spotlight option is not present in the mobile app. Oh, okay. So all so you have to do, sir, is click on my name. Screen. Then you just click on my name. So you uh, just click on my name and that time you can see. So now that I'm presenting, I will just move on to this. Uh -huh. So anybody who is not able to see the presentation, click, please click on Akshita's name. You should be able to see the presentation then. That layout, I think, is only for the desktop. Oh, Sunia, Akshita, Akshita, there are two. Akshita, yeah, there are two. Oh. Uh, you have to click on the presenter. There will presenter. in the bracket it will say presenter, Akshita, and within bracket it will say presenter. So you have I'll, to click that. Er, also arrow mark. Also might arrow be an arrow mark. mark. Yes, might be there. Are we good? Are yes. we able to see yeah. the presentation? Yes, yes. Can I have yes? Can I have yes from everybody? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. okay. So I think almost everybody understood how to use it then. Let's go ahead, sir. Then thank you very much. Thank you for your patience, sir. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, I can start talking. Yes. Sir. Yes, yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah. Thank first, you. first slide, sir. Akshata, can you please put the first slide on? The very first, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Not the video. Uh, afterwards. Okay, we couldn't cover all the videos yet. Uh, introduction. No, no. Uh, yeah. You put a slide. This is the first slide in your registry? 
Yes, sir. Introduction is the first slide, Rakshita. Introduction. So this is the first slide. Introduction to orchids. Yeah. Next, next. Next would be this. Ah, uh, next. Oops. Ah, uh, no, no. Please go to the previous one. Please go to the previous one. Yeah, yeah. Let me keep it on that. Yeah. Okay, sir. Yeah. Yes. Can you people hear me now? Yes, sir. Okay. You see, the orchid has a very, very ancient history. I really don't know. I think most of you people would have heard about Amrutan Mantan. Have you heard it? Amrut Mantan. Yes, gods sir. and uh, gods and devils are uh, Rakshasa churn a mountain to get uh, nectar out of the sea. I hope you people have heard about it. Yes, can sir. That is the morning. Me, yeah. Can anyone tell me why they decided to do the churning and get Amrut? Because what the was God... the reason? See, earlier gods were quite uh, powerful and uh, uh, Rakshasa are also quite powerful. Why did they suddenly? Why did they dream of uh, churning the mountain and getting the amrut? I'll tell so, you. Many of you wouldn't have known. Many of you wouldn't have known about it. They, you would have known about amrut mantan. Why amrut has to be got? Reason is, once the gods will become quite powerful, and they will try to, uh, they will uh, defeat all the danaos or rakshasas and drive them to underground. And they will very become very very powerful, having uh, won the war about uh, about Rakshasa, and they feel very happy and elated. So Devendra calls all the other gods, rishis, etc., for a grand party in celebration of their gods' victory over uh, Rakshasa. At that time, Muni Durvasa, I think Rishi Durvasa, you people would have heard, a very very uh, powerful rishi. He comes for that party. And gives to Devendra. See, Devendra, I am giving you a very, very special garland made out of some special flowers, which will last for ever and are highly fragrant. But you only should use it. You please do not disrespect this. He says and gives the garland to Indra. Indra wears it. Thanks to Rushi, fantastic garden, very, very exclusive flowers. I haven't seen such flowers at all. Thank you, Rishivarya. Please enjoy uh, my hospitality. Enjoy your food. Enjoy your drink, and go back to your ashram. Rishi has his dinner and whatever drinks, etc., and departs from Indra's uh, cabin. By the time Rishi goes out, Indra would be flushed with so many presents. No, like normally, what we do: extra bouquets, extra flowers, etc. We keep it aside. He removes this garland and keeps it aside. Okay. And he keeps it aside, and he sees his uh, elephant Airavata somewhere uh, nearby. He throws the garland to that. Durvasa will know from his uh, tapashakti or a divya gnan. This Indra has removed the garland and put it on the elephant. He becomes furious. From wherever he is, he stands there. Indra, you are so arrogant. I had told you specifically not to lose this garland. You have thrown it. So all you gods become powerless. All again, fellows, you become powerless. So the all the all the gods etc. becomes powerless. They get scared in case again Rakshasa has come from underground and start fighting with us. We are going to be defeated. Uh, what are we going to do? In between, what they would have done before this party, having won, their gods do not have any enemies. No, all their weapons etc. They would have put it in the ocean. And in the ocean, all the weapons would have dissolved also because of salty water. So when the uh, De Devendra get cursed by Durvasa Muni, uh, Indra gets scared and he will go to run to Brahma. What do we do, sir? This is what the curse we have received. Brahma says, "Let us go and consult Shiva." Shiva says, "This is not in my hand. What can we do? Durvasa is so powerful. We are all you, all of you, will become powerless, including me. What can be done?" Then they go to Vishnu. So the, all the all these people make a conference. They take a call. Vishnu suggests all your weapons etc has been dissolved in Amrut. I mean the ocean. All the power would have gone to the ocean. Like in these modern days also, all whatever good and bad, all pollution, all good things goes to the ocean, isn't it? Like that, all the power has gone to the ocean. Let us churn that. At that time, we might get something good, something bad etc. 
the good greatest thing also will come in that time nectar is likely to come then in case you gods consume that we will become amar or we will we will not lose our life at all we will be eternally alive that is the reason amrutam mantan happens got it hello hello yes, sir, we got, yes, it. got it got it got it this yes. is the first incident yes, of this is the first incident of arkits in purana the second incident is in case uh, sonia is listening is it right? in case you someone any of you are not able to listen to me please tell me about it okay i think sir everybody second, is- yeah second incident is when uh, rama lakshmana and sita goes to vanvas she will be bored for uh, so many years there she is supposed to be there in the forest no rama to entertain her he will go and get some special garland in the nature in on a tree there is a sort of a garland like flower he brings that and gives to sita before that sita also won't have seen that highly fragrant and fantastically beautiful blooms and it lasts for ever ever maybe one and a half to two months she asks rama what exactly is this rama says this is a special flower it's available in the forest only in uh, uh, cities towns etc it is not available so sita feels very happy and she will put it to her hair from that time onwards that is called as sita jade in a part of karnataka kurg any wedding even now without that flower wedding do not take place in case the wedding is uh, uh, conducted at a time when these flowers are in, not in bloom they will have an uh, artificial flower like that and they put it to the bride that's one second incident third incident again rama and as you know indrajit shoots uh, lakshmana lakshmana becomes unconscious and her lord hanuman is supposed to go and get him sanjeevni booty from uh, india to sri lanka have you people heard about it sanjeevni yes. booty is an arcade okay oh okay sir sanjeevni booty is also an arcade okay then let us come to mahabharata you people know again uh, pandavas with draupadi and kunti go to forest for vanavas at that time gaud uh, draupadi smells some fantastic smell and tells uh, her five husbands one of you on go and get me these uh, some flowers some fragrance is there i want to get that flower bima goes and gets saugandika pushpa that is our kid got it yes, hello sir. yes sir okay. got it one other That's incident in, again in mahabharata time as you know krishna marries so many girls one of them is rukmini rukmini belongs to manipur area north east okay he is not an officially agreed marriage he goes and kidnaps her or elopes with her i suppose you are aware of it when krishna elopes rukmini from manipur and comes back at that time in the, in kailas area that is north east area parvati stops him parvati is supposed to be krishna's or narayan's sister why you are eloping with a girl even not even getting married he says what to do the uh, inla etc are coming to fight with me so i am going to dwarka let me see what has to be done till then at least why don't you exchange garlands he says in this desolate north in himalayas where do i get garlands parvati says please wait i will go and get you garlands parvati goes and makes two garlands out of different targets and gives to krishna and rukmini to exchange garlands that's the first exchange the uh, wedding of krishna with rukmini there in presence of parvati the krishna says what fantastic flowers such a lot of fragrance so beautiful i haven't seen these things parvati says that these flowers are grown in this area in himalayas in nathis these are special flowers that's why i given it that's why krishna gives the name of pushpa malini for parvati in lalita sahasranama parvati is addressed as pushpa malini this is one other incident got it okay got it sir yeah yeah our kids are that old now let's come back to the present why should we do it why should we grow our kids why should we encourage our kids why should we appreciate our kids the arkids are coming from our purana days obviously we should be connected to our puranas our ancient uh, histories etc that's one thing and arkids are available in all parts of the world okay in uh, later i will tell you again and they are so beautiful so fantastic so long lasting so many of them are uh, 
so uh, such a lot of fragrance is that unimaginable it's so i mean by looking at the plants and flowers etc people will think no 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 it's going to be very difficult how can we grow these orchids they are expensive etc no it is not like that totally people are misunderstood about orchids orchids wants some sort of a environment which is suitable for their growth and flourish as long as you provide that environment you can forget rest of the thing they grow by themselves compared to they are not different uh, they are different compared to other plants all of you are uh, uh, terrace gardeners or uh, organic gardeners whatever you people are plant lovers so basically that's why you people are in the group obviously you will know about plants orchids are totally different compared to the other plants they are not difficult but okay and please do not get scared that orchids are expensive orchids are difficult so i totally disagree just from past 3 years i am able to learn quite a lot about orchids and i find it is much easier compared to growing any other plants okay and also next one is yeah i got it okay see orchids are very very easy to grow even people who are very very lazy i am 71 year old i was growing like minaisa told told you already 12 to 13 kilos of vegetables i used to grow on my rooftop i had 800 paint packets to grow vegetables so because of that every day i had to 50 to 60 packets i had to report it on a hot sun on second floor rooftop i found it quite tough at my age i did it from 12 2012 onwards 2 3 years back i found it quite difficult to report 50 60 parts it's 50 60 bucket each weighing about 15 16 kilos but a lot of work it became my back started paining my shoulder started paining my wife my family people said you are kept in happy not to torture yourself so by that time my greenery as etc appealed to me and it is ingrained in me so i switched over to orchids now 4000 plants i am able to easily maintain that is as easy as that okay and even for people very very busy people who do not have much time maintaining 2000 to 2500 orchids is also quite easy i have a friend one my one uh, nageshwar who he is much younger than me is about 40 45 or something like that he works with a tata group company he leaves home at 7 o'clock gets back at 7 o'clock in the evening he maintains more or less equivalent number of orchids as me from past 15 to 20 years has been maintained keeping a full time job running a family aged parents he has been able to maintain 4000 very easily and you have to be systematic for that okay next some people say that they want to do gardening uh, they want to grow this that etc but they don't get they have all the thing in their mind but to putting into action they are very lazy for such characters also even if they can have devote about maybe 10 minutes of alternate days keeping 15 to 20 orchids is quite easy okay this is what i want to stress even for busy and lazy people orchids can be very very easy plants to grow okay. you have to provide certain basic requirements for that i will explain it later next slide ma next next slide yes sir one sec yeah ah my computer is slow ah there there we go Ah, and uh, people people think no orchids are expensive. It will cost thousands of rupees. How can we afford it? Okay, what's the cost of a hybrid rose today? What's the cost of a hybrid ibiscus? It will cost maybe assume around hundred fifty two hundred rupees. Keep it let's say hundred rupees. How long does it last? Maybe two years, three years. Am I right? Okay, but two to three years. Every year you need to change the pot, put pesticides, put fertilizer. All those things you have to do it. Okay. How long does a rose flower or a hibiscus flower last? Maybe mm -hmm. four days, five days on the plant. Maximum so of one. Days, day. so Maximum of one days. day. Huh? Four days Hello? before the petals start falling. Yeah, probably start. There are orchids which can last for six months. There are orchids which grow, which blooms three to four times per year. Each time blooms last for a half months. That means. If you have selected a good orchid plant, and if you nurture it carefully, in carefully means you don't have to spend one a number of hours or days, etc., with that. Provide the correct environment, keep it, and take care of it once in two, three days, etc. That's all. 
it will bloom maybe three to four times per year. Each time bloom lamb blooms last nearing sixty days. That means five to six months in a year it is in blooms, and it will be as fresh as when it is new. I mean, orchid flowers when it blooms, or even after fifteen days, it stays very very fresh. Maybe after one month or one and a half months only, it starts fading slightly. Okay, how much is an orchid plant? Thousand rupees. How long does an orchid plant last? Ever, ever, ever. If you maintain it decently in its right and and environment, it is not possible to kill an orchid. So here okay. I have a question, sir. Please. Do we have orchids that bloom only in certain seasons that we can have a whole range of orchids so that you have yes, flowers yes. all round the yes, year? Yes, 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 yes. Definitely, there are summer blooming orchids, there are winter blooming orchids, there are monsoon blooming orchids. All plants are available. I now our house. Uh, I have most of them, and any in three sixty five days. Whenever you come in our house, at least twenty to thirty plants minimum. At the worst case, twenty to thirty plants will be in bloom. In peak season, maybe around seven hundred eight hundred plants will be in bloom. Wow! Always, always it will be in bloom. I mean, uh, you daily when I come up on my second floor, I see a new bloom daily. Every week I post in our already associated group. If you people permit me to join you a group, I will join you a group and post my pictures also. Let's come to that later because how many people are interested or not? Let us find out because uh, your group I don't know how many people are there. Everybody may not be interested in our case. Everybody getting the eight to ten pictures of uh, blooms every week. Uh, they will they will overload their phones and they will they will have extra effort in deleting it all. Let us not uh, uh, harass all the people. Who is interested? Let's make a this thing and try to send it or whatever it is. Sir, we already to... have a group with hundred twenty people who are interested in growing orchids. So, oh, then then we can then we can add you. After the yeah, session, we'll add you. You are not there in that group for now. I'll add you. Yeah, in that. you will add next Saturday onwards. You will get my pictures. Okay. Ah, uh, every Saturday, I guarantee you, at least five or six blooms will be there. New flowers will be coming. And uh, I would love, in case any photography experts etc. are there in your group, to improve my photographic knowledge also. Okay, okay. Now, uh, the, since the orchid plants, supposing you consider one particular variety, I consider Dendrobium. This elementary orchid. It's available at around three fifty to four hundred rupees also. If you grow for a year, the plant size becomes double. If you want, you can divide it. Okay. Make it to, to two plants. If you don't want to, you can allow it to grow it as a specimen plant with number of blooms. When you divide it into two plants, what are you going to do? You would have said you have purchased at four hundred rupees. Sell off. By that time, it becomes every year it doubles. I, I said, consider every two years it doubles. Give factor of uh, error of uh, uh, margin. The environment etc. is not great, so it has taken more time etc. Okay. Once in two years, if it doubles, if I paid four hundred rupees, and mind you, the prices of orchid price is rising by about thirty to thirty-five percent every year. Okay. Now, after two years, your four hundred rupees investment becomes two plant means eight hundred rupees. So you're very true. If you consider the inflation, also it becomes much more. Okay. Assume four hundred rupees only. Sir, like in two years after Vinay sir told me, I converted uh, one plant of mine which I had. Uh, when, uh, when I bought it, it was a Dendrobium with a bloom, and okay. I have converted that one plant to four plants uh, now this year. I have two yeah. spikes which I have to sp separate now. Yeah. Now, you see, if you separate like that, if you are supposing that you have paid X rupees two years back, now mm -hmm. how much you have got? Okay, if you want to, okay, you are not interested in making money. Okay, now but mm -hmm. you have. You have fifty orchids of one type. Another person has got fifty orchids of some other type. You exchange both of you. Okay. Second possibility. Right? Second, third possibility. You have a function. Uh, your friend is getting married, or housewarming, or a baby is born, or whatever it is, birthday, or whatever it is. Go and gift an orchid. You save money, isn't it? All these yeah. things are saving money. Yeah. Right. Okay. And each plant. See, and the plant lasts, lasts, lasts forever. I mean, it can be passed on to generation. I have one plant. I think all of you. I don't know how many of you are in South Bangalore. You people might have heard a park called as Yamuna Krishna Park. M. Krishna Rao was one Diwan of Kanat, the then Mysore state. Okay, that mm -hmm. in his name Yamuna Krishna Park is made. He he donated that land. It is about three hundred meters by three hundred meters near to Gandhi Bazaar area. 
he donated that land his house is also very close by he's from i he had planted about 150 years back apples pear etc in that area near that gandhi bazar area his house his family people are still living maybe about 8 10 houses our uh, previous uh, minister one anant kumar who died expired he stays in one of the he was staying in one of his properties only his wife even now stays there in their house his great grandson had an orchid planted by divan mn kishrao i have bought that plant with me i have got it now it's 160 year old plant wow. can you imagine yeah 160 year old plant the gentleman asked i want it i said he said i don't want to sell sir i am growing orchids when he, when he saw my passion and my commitment i went half a dozen times to his house i started pestering him whatever money you want i will give it to you i i told him he said if i ask you 2000 rupees will you give me i said i gave him 5000 rupees i said i want to 2000 rupees only i said i am giving you 5000 rupees now you cannot back out he said no 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 this is too much i will take 2000 rupees only i said okay he gave me a part of that plant i got it oh, there wow. is a buyer uh, yeah there is a buyer from somewhere else i don't want to identify that person is prepared to pay me 50000 rupees for that plant I said, no, this is a heritage of Bangalore, Karnataka. I don't want to part with that. I have money. I don't want money. There's even a near few people, as and when the COVID is out, if few people visit, I will show that plant also. When I said, I've seen that. It has been blooms and fantastic blooms. It gives. 160-year-old plant. Even today, it is alive. Maybe in before the season ends, I will divide into two or three also. Because as it becomes old, the plants will lose vigor. To refresh them, to make it much more vibrant again, we will have to divide and repot, etc. Maybe I will have to do that. Okay, okay. Now, I I told you, in, as against a hundred rupee rose or a hundred rupee hibiscus, even a thousand rupee orchid, over a period of time it pays. Okay, initial investment is high, but over a period of time it gives you so much of return. I mean, you don't have to consider monetarily, but equivalent of that. Okay, then. I have proved to you it is cheaper than a rose, etc. Even cost wise, even maintenance. How much of pesticide etc. are you put for uh, rose? And even for hibiscus. Always they are sick or with insects. You have to keep on pesticides. We are spraying pesticides, insecticides, etc. It's going to be tough. See, all the chemicals etc. is going to be tough for our health also. We should be doing it. Because all of us are middle aged etc. I don't know how many of you are ranked etc. Whatever age you people are there, our family people, kids will be there, and elderly people are there, pets are there. We, we can't spray pesticides or insecticides, etc., which are so harmful in our houses or on terraces. I'm very clear about it. Okay, I suppose you people agree. The arcade yes, do not require any of those things. At the worst case, you require either neem oil or hydrogen peroxide or listerin. That I told Mr. Vinay also. These are the basic Insecticides or pesticides are used, or aloe vera, nothing else. Hydrogen peroxide is the thing, chemical, which ENT specialists used to put into our ears when we were kids. Perhaps you people would remember to clean our ears. Okay. Listerine is a mouthwash. Okay. There's no problem. And then, uh, neem oil, you know, there's a lot of much issue. Aloe vera, everybody knows. So there are no other insecticides or pesticides required for that. And Yes, of course, I use expensive fertilizers, but not necessary. Everybody has to use it. But the quantity of the fertilizer, what we use is very, very, very little. Though it costs about 1000 rupees or 800 rupees per liter or per kilo, it, per plant you require maybe about 0.2 to 0.3 grams per week. So if you have got about 100 plants and one kg of fertilizer, it will last you for about one and a half to two years. It is not expensive at all compared to other plants. And there is no labor involved because I would strongly suggest our kids should not be grown, maintained, sustained by other people. Like our kids, in my opinion, our kids. Will you give your kids to other people's custody? Even it could be your in-laws or your parents. Maybe when you people go for holidays, etc., you might give. Otherwise, no, no, you want to keep your kids with yourself. Same fashion, our kids are to be maintained by yourself. That's the most fundamental thing. If you love, emotionally get attached to attach, uh, uh, our kids, they will reciprocate your love and attachment. 
that's most important okay the experience is uh, please previous slide please yeah, yeah the sorry. experience of growing market is you have to experience only no more supposing that i say no 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 if swimming is beautiful uh, you have to you it is such a lot of exercise it is such a lot of fun you are you will get refreshed by mind body etc no amount of me telling you about explaining to you swimming you will not experience until unless you jump into water and try to swim yourself am i right same fashion experience of growing arcade only comes by when you grow only it is so much it's so believe me it's immense immense fantastic positive experience okay next the flowering family of arcade in um, how many roses you have ma'am suppose you consider species maximum 100 not more than 100 species you can name isn't it in roses true sir true i have okay, just 35 species. yeah yeah i maximum in in arcades we have nearing 35000 species 3 days back also what species was found in northeast and every week somebody is finding some new species and adding into this one second thing in hybrid we have nearing 150000 hybrids in arcades and daily 10 to 15 are new type of hybrids are getting registered continue supposing you to get bored with one particular type of market there is one if you get bored with that there is one if you get bored with that one let let me caution you over here like alcoholism arco alcoholic is also very 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 addictive you can only get in getting out is impossible getting out is on three three ways only possible one is you will run out of money first thing will happen is you will run out of space not run out of money first you will run out of space okay next thing you will run out of money next thing next thing is you will run out of yourself you will not be there till sir, then you will be continuing with that so based on okay. what you said i think the second thing will not happen run out of money because you said run it out of money will not happen run out yeah, of money you always change it you exchange it run out of money is not do not happen normally that's why i said second okay now many people won't run out themselves all the that's at the end stage so well, only running out of space only will happen otherwise it will not happen now i am totally full now i can't get any more arcades if if, if i can dispose of any of my arcade i can put place those things in here and also mind you if you are supposing i have 4000 now i mean 100 uh, also every one year or two years the plant size becomes double keep that in mind So if you have an uh, space for arcades for about thousand square feet, if you start with five hundred arcades, within two years, it would have occupied the entire space. Please keep that in mind. It's so so uh, addictive. You everybody will be wanting this. I want that. I want everything. Everybody wants it. So space becomes a very very big criteria, and maintaining them becomes uh, tough. i would suggest start with 1 2 3 4 5 etc gradually build down as you get see i mean enjoy the growing of orchids the most important thing is you bought a plant how you are nurturing it what is the progress of that monitor it when the bloom comes which period it came how many flowers were there what were the sizes what were the colors how many colors were there see in a same plant same flower in different seasons if it flowers colors will be slightly different with respect to environment supposing you have kept it in a slightly light higher light shade area flower color is something if you keep it in a shady area flower color is something else and many orchids gives you fragrance in particular time of the day only it won't give you all the 24 hours very few of them will give you all the 24 hours most of them when the sunlight comes in the morning around 8 39 when the time, that is the time for bees to come at that time it comes some of the white blooming orchids in night it gives you fragrance it believe me there's one yeah only in night in morning times if i say it's highly fragrant sorry one second one second sir someone's online with speaker could you please mute your speaker i'm so sorry hello yeah ah, so okay. sorry sir go ahead yeah no problem See, there is a there is a orchid called as brasavala nodosa it's from south america it's a nice white colored flower it's called as lady of the night because the fragrance is only between 12 and 3 in the night before 12 there is no as if you are going to switch on fragrance switch off fragrance like that 
because it has to attract some particular moths in the night in that in amazonian forest okay at mm-hmm. that time only it gives a fragrance and it's a white flower most of the white fragrance or white uh, orchids gives you fragrance only in night because white is in moonlight it reflects okay and also fragrance because it doesn't have too many too much of uh, color shape etc only with fragrance it has to uh, attract pollinators got it okay and this is the very largest flowering plant family i told you uh, unlike a rose which has got 100 these are 35000 or 150000 and it is the most evolved and the oldest see i mean it's very 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 difficult to not kill an orchid plant if you have to take make efforts to kill it okay now a certain variety a few varieties are very delicate I like dendrobium if you kept it if you don't water for one month hello sir we are unable to hear you hello sir we lost you i apologize we will just see what's going on we just figure out what's going on sorry i think we are having um, an overwhelming response and sometimes you are having a drop uh, i I'll, i'll just call him and check what happened you you stay connected and keep the presentation on i'll yeah. call him uh, so yeah. i think by yeah. mistake he has muted him yeah muted him can you help I'll, me i'll call him and help him ah, so we can hear you now you can hear me yes yes sir Yeah, there was a call drop. It maybe call drop. I don't know whatever it is. Okay, can you hear okay. me? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, it is the most evolved plant. For I like I told you from Amrutan month and time it is existed. Which other living thing has existed from such a time? Do we have one dinosaur now? No, no. So, so the only ones that have existed from a dinosaur age have been crocodiles. Uh, yeah, crocodile. Yeah, this, this in dinosaur age. Orchids were prehistoric. Can you imagine? Oh wow! Yeah, obviously. When when Durvasa, Devendra, etc. were walking around in the universe. <laughs> Now, none of them we see. Of course, by the way, let us not debate about it. But it's that world, and now also it is available because and orchids are there except in Antarctica. In all the other continents, one or the other types of orchids are there. In um, minus twenty degrees also is available. Plus sixty degrees also in deserts also there are orchids in Himalayas are there and uh, in beaches is available everywhere all over the world you can find one or the other type of orchids and it they have evolved themselves for such a such a long time next slide please yes sir yeah the diversity I told you thirty five thousand and one lakh fifty thousand okay okay and experience wise I have told you. Okay. That's all. No, there are so many other. Uh, anything else is there? No other. No, one now? second. One second. There is one more. Where orchids come from? No, no this is uh, this will go for next week. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, any questions, etc. So, so now. So now I request. Uh, so you were telling us something about dendrobiums before it, we got disconnected for a short uh, bit there. If you could complete yeah. that, and then we will yeah. get each of our members who are part of this session to yeah. uh, take turns to ask questions, either yeah. via uh, sending a uh, message, which Sonia yeah. can read out, and that yeah. you could answer, or we yeah. could get them on uh, the uh, session if they want to. Yeah, in the session, uh, in another fifteen minutes, is there? What we get on the session? Whatever not possible, we'll cover it later. Let us not make it too elaborate. Hello? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. We, we started about an hour back. Oh, I don't want to hold people for such a long time and let them not get bored with uh, this thing. And first day itself. Okay. Uh, Dendrobium is one particular. Can you go back you. to the previous slide next yeah. week? There's a particular type of orchid called as Dendrobium. Okay. Let's keep this on. Let's uh, talk. Yeah, what, yeah. Let's yeah. keep this. This particular thing is a species. A dendrobium species. Okay, there are hybrids of dendrobium, which mm-hmm. you even this species also. If you go and uh, take, take this species and keep it in your house, some place, you forget watering for one month. Nothing happens to that. 
forget watering for two months nothing happens okay plant will be alive okay maybe it would have shrunk a little dropped a few leaves etc may not it may not bloom as fantastically as it should bloom etc but the plant will be alive that's what i'm trying to tell you i mean yes very, sir, mine has been alive for the last three years yeah. mine has yeah. been alive it has not yeah. flowered because there's hardly any care but yeah. i've been no, having fact, spikes. Your, yeah no no for getting uh, blooms it is necessary to give the feed your nutrients has to be given see people say i mean here again i want to since you asked me i'm trying to tell you mm -hmm. organic etc do not work in my opinion that exceedingly for orchids because orchids are not do not have media see i mean most of the other plants what we have we have is either cocoa peat or soil or whatever it is is it it okay yes, compost etc your organic uh, feed etc will work with soil bacteria when there is no soil at all for orchids how can the organic thing work it will not work so we'll have to give chemical nutrient in controlled quantity not too much you are not going to pollute the environment because you are hardly going to use 2 to 2 and 1/2 grams per liter of water once in a week okay that you are also going to spray on the plants it is not going to pollute any other places no excess mm -hmm. phosphates etc are going to be there no extra nitrates is going to be there very 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 little quantity of fertilizers are required it has to be chemical fertilizer none of them are harmful for your health that much i can guarantee you okay any other questions once you feed start feeding them it will give you you what they are kids for blooming for staying alive it is okay for for them to flourish and give you blooms you should try to take care as much environmental factors as possible compared to where that orchid was growing suppose you get as a orchid is growing in thailand from thailand one orchid you get you you have to simulate condition more or less equivalent to thai environment humidity is important okay nutrients mm -hmm. are important light is important things like that i will come to that later i will explain that everything in detail about it culture of the orchids i will explain later any general things on about orchids please ask me so sir i noticed one thing we were planning to talk about this but we didn't uh, because uh, we skipped your audio there you know how you said orchids they don't have a medium they usually grow either on trees or in certain yeah. areas that does not require actual soil yeah yeah right so like for yeah. my pot the pot was the problem so when i got the plant from the nursery it came in a regular yeah. pot that is used for the other plants and then okay. i noticed that it it you know it started showing that deterioration didn't grow and once i moved it to a orchid pot wherein it drains yeah. the water correctly and it's more like simulating that uh yeah. you know tree like environment it started yeah. thriving a little it didn't die with hardly yeah. any care with all the neglect it has survived uh yeah. including heat torture from my car radiator because i parked right in front of it okay it is still managed to survive it still has a spike but i think i you know your next session will be very helpful in learning how to yeah yeah definitely there's no problem no problem absolutely see uh, you mentioned uh, regular pot see how uh, you you said that they, they grow on trees orchids when mm -hmm. classified in different portions when limbs i will tell you they are called as mm -hmm. epiphytes most of the orchids are epiphytes epiphytes mm -hmm. means air plants air plant means they are supposed to be in air terrestrial is on the ground on the earth okay aha uh aha -huh, uh -huh. lithophyte means in rocks or crevices etc the mm -hmm. orchid most of the orchids most of the tropical orchids are epiphytes and on tree tops they grow okay so okay. you have to give similar condition as equivalent to that of a growing on a tree you have to hang orchids not put it on the table or a floor or a stand or something like that because roots of orchid has to get air most important roots of orchids should not be immersed in water okay mm -hmm. that okay is, sir that is the thing okay but tell me the next 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 question uh, please sir there are three questions on the chat yeah uh, akshita can you please mute otherwise there is a lot of people akshita if you can mute i can start reading the questions please Okay, sir. So one question is how yeah. the, it is uh, Silesh Singh asking, what is the yeah. right way to split orchids, and when we should do? Too much of noise. I'm not able to hear. 
Hello. Uh, hello. I'm Sir, not able to hear anything. Uh, I request everybody to please keep it mute. I am going to read two, three questions, please. Everybody on mute, please, except Rao, sir. Yeah. Sir, first question is, yeah. what is the right way to split uh, orchids and when yeah. we should do it? I will, I will answer this first. Mm -hmm. If anybody has got orchid plant for splitting, this is the right time. Okay. During rainy season. Spring season, immediately in spring is best. Now also is okay. Maximum by June end, you should have split it. If you have got expensive orchid, do not try now. I will tell you later. If it is dendropium, etc., you can split it now. But okay. Okay. So okay. I think Salishji, this particular question will be taken up in better during uh, next sessions because in first session he can't explain so many things. Okay, so for now, what I think. What is the orchid he has? Here. Ask huh. him what is what is the orchid he has. Okay, please ask select, him. Okay. Uh, select, sir, which orchid you are talking about in your question for splitting. Rao, sir, wants to need you can unmute and speak to him, please. Mr. Salish. Mr. Salish, if you can hear me, please yeah. unmute. Yes, thank you very yes. much. It's dendrobium. Yeah. Dendrobium, yeah, dendrobium, you can split. No, no problem. Okay, for the thank split you. area, please. Please, when you are trying to split, take a very, very good knife or scissor, etc., or a plier. Wash with uh, alcohol, absolute alcohol. If you don't have, take Listerine, yellow Listerine. Wash that thoroughly. Wipe it clean. If you don't have Listerine also, burn the cutting area with a flame. Okay? Then only trim wherever you want to cut it. In the live uh, arcade, do not cut with rusted tools or the unclean tool, etc., because you are going to cause infection for that. We, can we uh, do surgery for us? We, have, we will be taken to an operation theater, very clean environment, doctors, etc., or uh, gloves, hair, this thing, that thing, everything they will put. I don't know. We have to take similar care for our kids also because they are also living things. Until unless we respect them like us, they won't respond properly. You can cut divide a dendrobium now. <clears throat> First, cut it with a sterile tool. Okay. Cut area. Please put cinnamon powder immediately. Do not water immediately for a day or two. Okay. Pot it in the smallest possible pot with an excellent, good, clean media and hang it in air for a couple of days. Then you start watering it. Okay. Do not put fertilizer, etc. till the new roots come. Whatever little roots are there, if you try to fertilize in your enthusiasm of making that orchid grow very fast, you will kill it. Okay. Understood? Thank sir, you. can yeah. we use uh, sir? Can we use hydrogen peroxide to clean our tool? Like how you said, we could use listerine. We could use no, uh, no, no. I, I, hydrogen peroxide for the plants, okay. For cleaning the tool, hydrogen peroxide is not sufficient. Hydrogen peroxide is an antifungal, antibacterial. Okay, not antiviral. Oh, okay. Alcohol sir. is not. See, uh, hydrogen peroxide. You can't wash your hand now in COVID time, isn't it? Yes, sir. So can we That's use the sanitizer uh, yeah. then? Can huh? we use the sanitizer then? No, the sanitizer, I don't know what other chemicals it has. Don't use it. You can use, but you have Listerine. No, that is simplest. Okay, sir. Listerine, okay. Mouth, mouth, Listerine mouthwash, you use it. That's the best thing. Okay, okay. yellow. Don't take that mint flavor, etc. Mint flavor and all, they would have added as and other chemicals. I don't know what are the reactions of those things for the plant. Let's not expect it. Pure okay. yellow, virginal Listerine is fantastic. Okay? Okay, okay. sounds good. Next question. Sir, next question is how to divide and the orchid plants. Do you want to, to explain it? How to divide and ah. repot the orchid plants? I think this is already taken up. Yeah, this is already taken. I, that's how yeah. I told you. But yeah. different. This is for dendrobium. If it is an expensive catalyst, etc., please do not do it. So okay. this Anuradha, ma'am, this will be taken up in detail in the next sessions, in the coming sessions, please. Yeah, we and also ask her what what orchid she has. Anuradha ma'am, can you please unmute and speak to sir? Anuradha ma'am, if you are listening to me. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Uh, good evening. Uh, mine is also good a dendrobium. And I yeah. heard whatever sir has said. Thank you for the yeah. answer. Yeah. Okay. So you put it, take a small, very small plant, which has a lot of perforations. Small pot means also, that part also should not be totally enclosed all the area. It should have a lot of perforation. You want me to show one of them? I'll show you in the next. Show sir, show I'll, sir. If you are close, I show it. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the garden. One second, hold on. You'll have to change. 
camera you have to change your camera right now we can see you not your garden see now you can you see this the camera ha huh, now we can see this okay this is the pot okay this is a typical dendrobium pot it's a called as dendrobium pot only it is a 4 inch pot uh, maybe i have around 50 60 of them and whoever wants it uh, they can take it and distribute amongst them okay it's difficult to get in shops okay then tell me next question please so next question is from meena ma'am uh, yeah. would you share basics like what should be the media and how to set it up what is the yeah. basic orchid that a beginner can start off with this is what meena ma'am is asking meena ma'am beginner can start off with dendrobiums okay as well as ground orchids i will come for like later i i will also explain to you in uh, maybe next week or the week after that the levels of orchids you know like uh, first we have to get into kindergarten then primary school middle school like that i have made orchids also in that class it's a lot of fun also you will have uh, talking to me about it you will uh, hear about it in later uh, right now you can start with dendrobium if you are very curious about it okay next question please you know ma'am i think we can i but yeah. Thank you, sir. Can I have a button? Can I have a button? Show, Vin, uh, Vanessa. Show. Uh, sir, you can just tell them that about dendrobium. Uh, yeah. There is something called keki. So that also you can explain in the next uh, session. Yeah, I will. I will do that. I have. I have that in schedule. So I mean, uh, dividing. Why should, should you divide? When should you divide? How? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. We think since we have took up, we let us say keki is a uh, baby in Mexican language. Okay, in Mexico, keki. What are Spanish? Uh, they speak, I think. Uh, keki is a baby. Okay. Now the orchids, dendrobium, they they have a rhizome like uh, ginger, etc. No, like that they start growing. One cane after the other cane, it comes. Okay, like more or less like sugar cane also you can consider. If if you have minimum three canes, you can divide into one plant. Sometimes after the bloom is over, on top of the cane. a small plantlet will come with the roots roots need not be at the base only at the top of the uh, plant also roots will come i wait one second i will try to show you one particular plant it must be available here right here you can understand it sir my dendrobium is in that stage do you want me to snap a picture and send it to you you can send it right now you can see can you see this can you people see this yes yes sir yeah this is the stem this is the this is the pot is a huge uh, dendrobium uh, species okay yes. so many canes are there i can divide into three or four plants i don't want to because i am keen on growing a specimen size plants see now this this cane has bloomed this is the cane, flower bloom i spike i have cut off after that this has get produced a baby okay these so are the roots you can see only the base of the plant you will have to turn the camera a little more towards your fingers yeah can you can you see me can you see a little more down sir yeah now we can see no little more down okay this is the spike flower spike which i cut off now after that this baby has grown here roots and a baby i can just pluck this and put in a pot this is a new plant this is one baby this is a second baby okay last year i made i took three babies out of that and planted to made three bad plants now i got two more babies this is a three year old plant that means i have six plant by this now got it yes sir okay now next question please yes sir and next question two more is, minutes yes sir the next question is from durga ma'am can we have yeah. a demo on how to plant a orchid definitely 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 i will show you which particular orchid she wants to let her know let me know i will do it or most of the orchids i will try to give one by one next question is how to know the name of the orchid as of now there are only leaves only leaves, leaves sir only no leaves. flowers leaves. only leaves yeah if you will say so i have say, asked her i have asked her to send a picture in the group and once you are correct. in the group you will be able yeah, to yeah. answer it better done done i will be able to identify yeah yes in, so next i should be able next to identify question is my plants are in pots it's mr ray saroj is asking uh, my yeah. plants are in pots 
which are open to rain will they survive this rain what are kids he has uh ray sir if you are listening to us please unmute he has got a phalaenopsis 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 should not be kept exposed to rain because it has on the crown there's a cup like thing you know in the cup water collects rain water collects plant will go for a toss please bring it inside in rainy season do not keep phalaenopsis outside once the rain stops you can put it outside not in the summer till february it can be out one half an hour rain 20 minutes rain etc okay the rain daily rain coming like this for from past 4 5 days it is not good at all okay so, if at all you have kept it daily you have to clean the plant thoroughly it is not possible i would suggest keep it inside ray okay. sir i think uh, we answered your question and uh, yeah. next question is from radhika ma'am where yeah. can we get it to start from she is asking yeah. where can we get it to start from get what ha orchids? where can we get the orchids ha yeah i will give you certain sources uh she can they can buy no problem so, i'll give you multiple radhika sources. ma'am radhika ma'am during next sessions because after today's session it looks like we are going to have another two three sessions minimum so one of the sessions we will be explaining from where to get the orchids and uh, if shrinath sir also can spare some and we we will be discussing this in detail in next sessions no no issue i will give you the sources okay most let, let's be very clear a few species are available in india in northeast some of them can be grown in bangalore not all of them a few of them that is possible to get it and uh, hybrids mostly comes from thailand uh, most of the thai orchids are imported only you have to get from importers so there are some a few major importers i will give the addresses and uh, there are some short small time suppliers who buy from the importers in bulk and try to dispose it off i give try to give those addresses also you can source them and before you buying it you can also message me and tell that you want to buy so and so at so and so price from so and so person i'll try to help you also okay okay i know uh, ma'am this uh, this uh, solves your question next is from tejaswini gopal what is the yeah. care for yellow cattleya please pre- please repeat what is the care uh, what kind of care is needed for yellow cattleya cat all cattleyas are same the it has to be in a open basket okay bigger basket how big is the plant it depends normally a good cattleya would require a pot of this size can you see can this sir, be seen sir little up uh, your camera should be little down or your pot should be little up ha yes, sir now we can see yeah, now it's okay so But this is a pot for cattleya yeah this is the pot for cattleya it should be open totally lot of perforations you have to use media of uh, lava rock at the bottom put the plant on the top a very few pieces of arcata bark got it i will explain to you i will show all those things next session or something like that all the media will explain okay sir sir uh, so in next session will you be starting with dendromiums because the next question is from yeah. uh, one miss uh, shantala who is asking yeah. about uh, which dendrobium is the best for a beginner and how to hybrid, select a hybrid hybrid dendrobium dendrobium hybrids don't okay, take so, species dendrobium hybrids so sir will you be able to show that in our next session because i i, I realize that you know most of us though you say i'll show you right now i'll show 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 you right now right now why in next okay session? sir okay sir can you see can you see the yes, bloom sir. yes sir okay yes sir. Okay, this is the part. Can, did you see the plot also? Yes, sir. Okay, see this is such a big plant. This is such a small plot. Okay, this is one color. Please hold on. I will try to show you a couple of other colors as well. Okay, sir. I hope that people are not getting bored, and uh, I don't know how many people are there today. I I only hope that you don't do not get reduced to fifty percent of this. so we had around 70 and around 10 people were trying to join for some reason they couldn't join i tried helping them but they couldn't join presently okay, no two have left because of some technical issues but we still have around okay. 60 65 people okay i only hope that next time next week also 65 minimum 65 will be there okay let's see doesn't matter <laughs> see this is the other one 
So oh, that beautiful, yes, sir. Okay, then see the other one. So this, mm, so it's not clear. The plant not is it? not clear. We uh... oh yeah yeah now we can see it. Yes, it's pretty yeah, clear. Now now we can see. Yeah, one more I will show. Can you see? Can you see the plumes? Oh yes, sir. It's beautiful. But yeah, we don't get it, these colors in any regular nurseries. In regular yeah, nurseries, no, you, you get the ones with the um uh, with a little bit of the purple and the white. So can we start with those? Are they hybrids or are they regular? Hybrid? No, no, no. Regular, uh, whatever. It's a, so species are expensive and it won't be available very easily. Regular nurseries will have very, very common hybrids. No problem. You can start. Let just let me know what is the size of the plant, what is the price, whether it is okay or not. I will tell you. If it is 300, 400 rupees, etc., take it. There is no problem. If somebody is asking you 1000, etc., please do not buy. Sir, so, I picked up it? mine for three, 400 at uh, the yeah. nurseries in uh, near the big banyan tree. No and problem. That was two, three See, years three, ago. Up to Akshata, bank, Akshata, banks, Akshata. 500, don't bother. Okay, sir. Akshata, okay. the one you asked about yellow and red, no? Uh, yes, it, sir. It's the common only. You get it in uh, many places. The okay, one sir. Now show, shown. Uh huh. Uh -huh. is, you get it. It's easily you get it. It's absolutely no problem. At the okay, moment, sir. I think it's already two months old. Uh, mm -hmm. It's still as fresh as it is uh, two months back. It was. It, it is called as Mutai de Arcade, by, named by my wife because Arshna Kumba color is there, no? Uh -huh. <laughs> For that reason. Sir, Next I question. have. Uh, Sonia, do you want to take over the question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, next question is by Shobhana. She, uh, they are asking Do orchids grow if kept inside the house? Uh, see, once in blooms, you can keep it inside the house when you have function or something like that. Or mm -hmm. even for enjoying it throughout the blooming period, you can keep it inside. But for orchid to grow, you should not keep it inside only because it requires some sunlight. And also fresh air. Would you stay in the house 24 hours, 365 days? Not possible, no. Don't expect orchid to stay inside the house like that. Got the answer? Yes, sir. Okay, next. Sir, so someone else has a question saying, can it be kept in the balcony while we're at, at the, in the same house? Fantastic, topic? fantastic. Fantastic. Next week, next by before next week, I will send to Sonia Rakshata in the group, in our uh, subgroup of this. Uh, I will send a video in my balcony. Also, I have around 400 plants. Uh, about 15 to 20 of them are in bloom. I will take a picture, video of that, and give it to you. It's a size, balcony size is about uh, 6 feet by 15 feet. I have around 400 plants there. Okay, I will show it to you. Balcony, east facing balcony, orchids do fantastically well. Next option is north facing. Next option is west facing. Last option is south facing. Okay. So, sir, when it comes to east facing, like I have uh -huh. an east facing balcony, I try to uh -huh. keep it there, but I have a rain tree right in front of my house. So, there's hardly oh. any, uh, you know, sunlight. That, that you have to get some light. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be difficult. You can, if, if the light is too low, you can grow phenolopsis there. Okay. Not okay. Uh, dendro. Dendrobium requires a lot of light. Cattle also requires a lot of light. Show so, me sir, the picture of it. Show me the picture of your balcony and the tree in around 11 o'clock. You take a picture and send me whether light is okay or not. I will tell you. Okay, sir. Sure. And okay. in the north, yeah, 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 yeah. When, when I'm trying to tell you the environmental factors, I will tell you how to measure light, etc., in a common fashion. You don't require any equipment, etc. Your hand is enough. With that, it should be possible to judge the quantity of light, whether sufficient or not sufficient. I will explain to those things. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay, sir. So people who have a north facing balcony or people who are living on a higher um, altitude because like say they, they live in an apartment building, say 30, right, right, or they have 20 floors or so. Over there they might have it so they might have bad. different okay, they might have more sunlight than required. Then what are the uh, things that they might require? Balcony, uh, no problem at all. Balcony, see, up to 11, 30, 12 o'clock direct sunlight can come for all the orchids. No problem at all. After 3 o'clock sunlight can come. In summer, between 12 to 3, direct sunlight should not be on the plants. That's all. Got it? In okay. summer, that is from March, April, May, June, till the rain starts. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, you should not get direct sun on the plants between twelve to three. Otherwise, okay. you can keep it. Okay. Anything else? I think we should call it an evening. Sir, Mr. Tanu is asking, Mr. or Mrs. I don't know who is asking which orchids are suitable for Bangalore. I will tell you. Dendrobium is suitable. Finnana is suitable. Uh, Cattleyas are suitable. Vandas are suitable. Ancidiums are suitable. Brazola. Most of the orchids. Whatever you have heard, it's possible to grow in Bangalore. Sir, but it what depends. What is not suitable? What What is not suitable is one variety called as Bulbophyllums. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah. There are most of the other th- and Cymbidiums of Northeast. You cannot grow in Bangalore. Okay, sir. So for okay. all these, and the important part is the sunlight part, right? Sunlight. Yeah. Yeah. Very very important. Sunlight. Yeah, okay. I will tell you the details. Also, all the environment factor, whatever is required, I will tell you. Let us go it step by step. If it is, if you want me to cut it short and make it in one week or two weeks, let me know. If it, you don't mind me extending it to two or three, etc., there is no problem. Let us make it as interactive as possible, like this, so that many people will get clarified about their doubts, etc. Okay. Okay, sir. I think we have concluded on all the messages. Sonia, are you features her? features to buy a healthy one? Features to buy a healthy orchid. So, Shantala, ma'am, this coming up in the next sessions, we will be talking about how to how yeah. to identify a healthy plant. Yeah, yeah. It will come. It will come. It will come. It's covered. It's and uh, rest, sir. Lots of wishes and lots of thank yous and lots of wonderful session and interesting session messages are there in the group. Thanks a lot. Thanks for uh, Vinay, Sonia, and Akshata for bringing me again to this group. I only hope that you people will enjoy my talk, and uh, you will grow orchids, and you will become perennially happy. That's all my thing. Okay. Take care. Be safe. Take care of your family, your pets, and your whatever plants you have. Thank you, nature lovers. Bye. Thank Good you. Thank, thank you. Sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank all. you so much, sir. Thank, thank you, you everybody and thank you all the groups of the gardening who have helped us circulate this message and we had such a good response thank you thank you very much this is sonia signing off thank you bye